Right, stuff picks time, this time with our head of content and purchasing, Laurens, I'm going to try it one time, Van Herstraten. I'm going to hope that was close, you can tell me yourself. Was that close? Good man. Yeah, is that the best I've said it so far? Yeah, it's Van Herstraten. It's a yeah. rolling R. Okay, I'll try it better when we get to your house. Okay, are you good? Do you need an excuse to close down your work and show us your stuff? We'll do, man, let's go. Alright, bye. Talk us through your bike to start with. That seems like the most logical place to begin with. Um, 2019 Speed Twin. Mm -hmm. I've had it for a year and a half now. I had a 2001 Speed Triple and a Yamaha MT-03 before that. But you last came into play, so I needed <laughs> I needed something um, that did everything. And yeah. for a Speed Twin, which and honestly, I'm I'm in love with it. Like it does everything. It's super yeah, comfortable. Yeah. It pulls like a train. There's a few annoying things about it though. Okay. One is, it, it looks really good out of the factory, Yeah. Which and that's annoying because <laughs> right, yeah. I want to change things to it, <laughs> but I don't really know what else to change. There's a few things I don't like, and one is the font of this. I don't okay. think that suits it, so I want another side panel. And someone told me that Motone are going to make these. Right, okay. They're also thinking of making another tank for it, maybe. So, Motone, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm, I'm game. I, I want some of that. So you've changed, you said you tweaked something with the rear as well, right? Or you yeah, put a tail I, made, I made a tail tidy. I'm too cheap to buy a tail tidy, so I right. cooked up one in the, in the garage. Which is very rough and ready, but no one sees it, so yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Um, the exhausts are Westlakes, which I think sound amazing. And he's always going on about his bike sounding the best. I strongly disagree. <laughs> I mean, it sounds good, but it doesn't sound this good. You saying you'd like to challenge him I for wouldn't the mind. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's fairly standard. And out of this and the, I'd hate to ask, but out of this and the Speed Triple, which one do you prefer? Oh man, that's a tough choice. <laughs> I loved loved the the brutal nature of the Speed Triple. Yeah. It it broke my heart having to sell it. But then I love this as well. Yeah. And I, and I love. I, I think this is going to be with me a little longer. Well, I mean, since you've mentioned it, I guess we have to have that competition. The sound competition? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. You well, you tweaked the, the put like a, I don't know. Like I'm going to make it sound even better, yeah. I'll rig the competition. Put like a V8 sound or something. Unless Andy gets to the edit and then he might ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. I think that's clear. Yeah. I think that's clear. <laughs> 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 that's good, I like that. That's good, right? I don't see anything. Yeah. Where's the actual sound now? <laughs> no, no, Where's the actual the sound? sound? Show me the actual sound. <laughs> well, with that out of the way, let's go have a look at your clothing and what you actually wear when you're on the bike. Perfect. Hey, hey. Hello, mate. Welcome. Well, thank you very much for the coffee. That is uh, as lovely as that is. I think this is just an excuse so I can go around and try everyone's coffee, to be honest with you. You're welcome. This thank is a... Uh, I'm, I'm not a complete coffee snob. Yeah. Um, well, I am, and I, I like this. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But that's obviously not the reason we're here. So we're here to check out your gear. We have a few things piled down there that you're going to take us through. We're going to go again... Top to bottom, start on your heads, yep. give us your best and worst, and I know I'm <laughs> just looking behind me for this treasure trove. These are not all mine. These are not, I know I have a problem, I've been with Urban Rider for what, seven years now, I think, mm -hmm. and I see all the cool stuff, and I won all the cool stuff, yeah. so I have way too much of all of the cool <laughs> stuff. But luckily, my wife is very similar to me, so half of these are hers, but there's four helmets that I select way more than any others. Yeah. Um, let's start with the most fair weather of them all, uh, which is my DMD Vintage, um, which I love, because it's comfortable, it's a small shell, 
I've got an oval head, so that rules out a lot of helmets for me. Yeah, um, I it's not an intermediate oval. It's, oh right, it's, proper it's, oval. It's a proper oval. I've never seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a rarity. <laughs> so, but the, but the DMD vintage caters to that. Um, I had it painted by Lisa over at Dutch on Wheels in Holland, believe it or not. So she painted. Um, well, actually, put it in the comments if you know what it is. Let's see if anyone gets it. Um, I usually couple it up with the Barofaldi Speed 4 goggles. Then, on to the Bell Bullet. I'll, I'll mainly ride this one in town when I'm commuting. In yep. London, I, I love it because of the field of view. It gets noisier, but then my other helmets, which we'll get to, which are way quieter. As yeah. soon as I'm on the motorway, as soon as I'm doing faster riding, I wear earplugs and so, so should everyone. Yeah. So yeah. for me, that argument of a bit of, of noisy helmets or quiet helmets, it's, it's always a bit... Uh... I agree with you. The only thing I would say with that or concession is there's no chin curtain either. So it's, no. it's windy. So it'd be like on a cold day. It's quite On cold. a cold day, it's yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't ride on the motorway in this in winter. Um, then over to that one there on this mm -hmm. little pedestal, which is <laughs> my pride and joy, I guess, is uh, mm -hmm. the Head and Heroin. The racer version, which means it has the visor. Yeah. Super comfortable, super yeah. lush. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that's the most beautiful one I own. And there's so many different colors you can choose for as well. It's nice that you just want Yes, I went for the black one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then on to the most, I guess the most sensible one of them all, mm -hmm. which is the NXR. This yeah. is the NXR 1, which is now discontinued. Uh, there's a showy NXR 2 imminent. I love this helmet. It's, it's super light. It's, it's a really small shell as well. Yeah. The NXR2 is ever so slightly a bit bigger. because I it, didn't notice much, but it is supposed to be a bit bigger. Than I had, yeah, I, th I think when I, when I saw it, it's a little bit bigger, but not by much. It's still a small, sleek helmet, and obviously it meets the new safety standards uh, mm -hmm. that just came in. Yeah, this gets, this, this gets used and abused. I mean, <laughs> I should, should have cleaned everything before we started <laughs> this, but I didn't. So out of those, yeah. sorry to cut in, but which one do would you think, what ratio do you wear all of those? What's your most used? Depends on the weather. Okay. If we have a really nice summer, you'll see me in the open face very often. Yeah. Um, but I guess since we're in England, the NXR gets all the use. <laughs> Was it that or that that you wore at your wedding as well? Uh, am I wedding that one? This one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's a mean, suit and it's, tie it's, it's helmet. A wedding, it's a wedding helmet, yeah. <laughs> On to the next part of the body. Let's yeah, move yeah, downwards. Yeah. So yeah, jackets then next, and I can see a few of those as well. <laughs> also a tough choice, man. Let's start summary as well. Let's start mm -hmm. the most summary. And also one of the more versatile things I own, which is this little number. Um, it doesn't have the armor in it now, mm -hmm. but I wear it with the, it comes with Sastec armor, yeah. which is really slim line. Yeah. For all of these, by the way, I have upgraded everything to either D3O Ghost armor or the Sastec armor. Mm -hmm. So it's all very slim line, all very flexible. Yeah. I don't want to be encumbered with thick armor. It makes mm -hmm. the chances of me wearing it way smaller. So mm -hmm, I'd rather mm -hmm. have slim line armor. Um, but this is nice because it fits underneath whatever you want. So even in summer, when on the hottest days, on those few days a year, we get like plus 30 degrees, yep. right? I'll wear this underneath a t-shirt and just the wind blows straight through. Mm -hmm. But equally in winter, Sometimes I'll just wear this under whatever winter jacket I yeah, have. Yeah. In fact, I like this so much that I got the leggings as well. I'm jumping the gun here, but yeah, I got the leggings as well. They're, they're coming. And then I guess my trusty old Roland Sands Clash jacket mm -hmm. with its fancy inner lining and used to be black. Um, I like it, the fact, I like the tone that it's gone to though. Well, listen, they used to, these have been in our range for years and years. Uh, yeah. Um, and this is, I think, one of the first batches. They had one batch where the dye didn't really stick to the leather as well, okay. or, or it wasn't impregnating the leather as well. So it aged quickly. I, I've worn this a lot, like miles and miles. Um, and it, it went a bit olive green and I love it. Do you use yours as well in wet weather? Like if it's raining? Oh, this has gotten wet a yeah. few times. A few yeah. times. Have you treated it as well? I did it once okay. over the past. Oh, well, you're better than Andy then. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's over the past <laughs> six years that I've had this, Just I think. the once, yeah. yeah. I mean, by now, that's still in good nick, so I'm not gonna upgrade, but it's, I can only recommend The Clash. They do stay black a lot longer nowadays, as in black, black. <laughs> Especially if you treat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I can see your winter coat down there. Yeah, my winter jacket only had this for a year now, a year and a half. Okay. Um, finally got myself a Bellstaff Trial Master. 
man, in, in, in the shop, I've tried this on so many times before I actually went for it. Yeah, it just looks, it's nicely cut. It looks nice. It's quality. Yeah. Um, I haven't rewaxed it or anything. But this is the one that I ride with throughout winter. It's the one I've seen you in most, definitely, yeah. because I started yeah, yeah, in yeah. wintry. Yeah. Well, it's because it rains most days. <laughs> it's a lot. It's um, very wet all the time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can't trust it either. That's the thing I find. If I'm ever in any question if it's going to rain, it's always the best stuff I'll go to now. Because obviously, Oh, when you're in doubt, pants. wear your waterproofs. Always, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. This one, though, so the Trial Master, because how tall are you? Six one. Yeah. Right. I mean, not, so, I'm, not, I'm not a giant, but... No, no, but a taller frame definitely yeah, suits yeah, yeah. the taller oh, jacket. Oh, and I'm, I'm lanky as well, so this three-quarter jacket, yeah. it, kind, it kind of works for me. It kind of works for me. What I love about it is, is all of the pockets. I don't use the chest pockets all that often. I don't think many people use chest pockets all that often. But these things are massive. Yeah. And I tend to, like, overfill them, like, stuff everything in there, mm -hmm. which makes you look a bit silly, but it's really <laughs> useful. Yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's not a cheap jacket. But I, I do think you get your money's worth out of it. That's torso. Yeah. So what about your legs? Legs. I'm How many have you got down there for legs? <laughs> I'm, I'm a few. Um, I realized I forgot one in Belgium. My resurgence um, cafe racers. And the reason I, I still have those and I still have a lined, an aramid lined pair of motorcycle mm -hmm. trousers is for winter. Single layers. I love them. They're super comfortable. I'm wearing them right now but they get cold in winter. Um, whereas an aramid layer just gives you a little bit extra. I mean, when it's freezing, obviously, mm -hmm. we all wear leggings underneath or over trousers on top. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. No, I completely plus, agree. Plus, I like the style of them there. Well, talking about leggings, and I mentioned them before. Yeah, Pandomoto. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the skins. Sorry, the one I had earlier was the shell. The top is the shell, the bottoms are the skins. Yeah. Same story, really. These are just, they're, they're, they're leggings. They're protective leggings. C level A. Very stretchy. I'll, I'll wear these when it gets a bit colder as well. Just so you can, you can layer up, you can put whatever trousers you want on yep. top. They're a very simple product, but they're so effective yeah, yeah, in what yeah. they do. Really so if nice. you layer on and you stick a single A under like a triple A jean, does that make it quadruple A? I'm, I'm not going to vouch for that. I'm not going <laughs> to But the, mat, the mats do... The mats bear out. I mean, I yeah. Makes yeah, sense. yeah. So what's the most we can... <laughs> can we go like nine A's or something? I don't know. Well, that brings me to... Let's get the Tic Tacs out of the way. <laughs> That brings me through to the single layer jeans. Yeah. Um, I've got two pairs that I wear all the time. Now these are both older versions of new products. Mm -hmm. So these are the Saints. Unbreakable Slims these are. Okay. They're yeah. not slim, they're mm -hmm. skinny. Mm -hmm. But I've got skinny legs, so for me skinny is slim, if that makes sense. That does. Most brands tend to, when they say skinny, they mean slim. They mean and slim. This is the other way around. This is the other way around. Right. They're, they're, they're skinny jeans. Um, but they're super comfortable. They've got um, Dyneema in them. They're a bit stretchy. Yeah. I wear these all the time. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm not on the bike, I'll mm -hmm. wear these. Now, these are the previous version, so they don't have pockets for armor. The okay. current version on yeah. our website does. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the next ones, which is the ones I'm wearing, which is the Pandomoto Steel 1s. So we have the Steel 2 on yes. the website now. The only difference between... So I'll stand up and give, yeah, you, go on, give, you, give you a twirl. So... <laughs> Yeah, you're, in shot. you're in shot, you're all good. <laughs> Cheers. Single layer, um, also polyethylene for protection, for abrasion resistance. Yeah. Um, love these, super comfy. Uh, slim fits, got the Sastec armor in there, in hips and the knees. Yeah. And I'll happily wear these all day long in the office. I do the same, yeah. If it's thin enough, it doesn't get in the way, right? And it's more of a fast to take it out. Yeah, so yeah. the D3O Ghost armor, Sastic armor, they're all enough that you can just wear them. Exactly. And it's not just the armor, the jeans as well, I mean. Like, they're, they're, they're comfy, yeah, yeah. they're nice. Right, so on to gloves then. What do you protect your hands with? Right, again, uh, I went for a seasonal selection. Um, summer, mid-season, mm -hmm. and winter. Let's start with summer. Um, gold top, the Viceroy's. Hey. Yeah, love these. <laughs> Um, had them for two years. Again, you wouldn't tell, would you? Um, no, I love the, the floating knuckle on them. Yes. Very comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah, not many bad things to say about this. I like the fact they're shorter cuff as well, because that makes it so much easier with jackets. Oh man, I prefer, I prefer shorter cuffs. Yeah. Um, yeah, even though I've got a long cuff winter glove, mm -hmm. medium cuff winter glove. But yeah, recommend gold top gloves. Not just the Viceroy's, all of them. Yeah. Um, and then on to a sadly discontinued product. These are the Rocker California Insulated Gloves, mm -hmm. which 
right about now we're late September. Yeah. Today's a, today's an exceptionally nice day, but like in a few weeks I'll start wearing these. Mm -hmm. um, they're not mid-winter gloves. Anything below 10 degrees and you'll be a bit cold in these if you don't have heated grips. I was going to say even with the heated grips, do you just stick your heated grips? No, heated on grips will take these there. into into mm -hmm. what, almost December sometimes. Yeah. But I just I just love how they fit. Yeah. I don't know why they discontinued them. Please bring them back, Rocker. <laughs> and then winter, that's, that's a bit, yeah. I'm a bit proud of these. These are the Racer Northern Gore-Tex glove. Yeah. There's a heated version of these as well, both designed by yours truly. Hey. Hey, for Racer, a bit of a collaboration. These are exclusive to us in yeah. the UK, and they're based on the iWarm City heated glove. Mm -hmm. um, when I say designs, I mean, I, I took that glove as the basis and I, and I went to them. I was like, I want a bit more of that, a bit less of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so wider cuff, more of this purely aesthetic stitching on the back. Yeah, I like that, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's unique, I, isn't it? I think they came out really nicely. I've definitely noticed the heated ones in the office. I think there's some in the office that I've noticed, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. People loved them last winter, I think. Yeah, and Gore-Tex well as, well. as well. Yeah, Gore-Tex. Mm -hmm. So these, these keep you dry, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and combined with heated grips, I mean, you're you're toasty. Yeah. And they're not too thick either, just from feeling there. They're no, that's what I wanted. Not too um, removed. Yeah, that's what I wanted, especially on the palm. I didn't want it too thick, because I hate, I mean, it's the worst day of the year, isn't, isn't it, when you have to switch to winter gloves? I really don't <laughs> like that. Um, so I wanted to keep some, some finesse. Yeah, makes sense. Um, that's gloves. Onto boots? Just yeah, exactly, yeah. What have you got on your feet then? Right now they're socks, I can see. But, right now uh, they're socks. When you're on the bike, um, assuming not socks. Yeah, I'm missing a pair of boots. They're there, I can see them. <laughs> what do I do, cameraman? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to go. Okay. <laughs> Just this one. Bear with me. <laughs> right, so my... Yes. Revit Regent H2O boots. These have seen better days, and that's because I've been <laughs> riding in them for many, many days. These have long been discontinued. Right. But... I mean, Revit boots, they're bringing out new ones next year, um, mm -hmm, coming mm -hmm. for next season. Um, I've been lucky enough to have a look at them. They're bringing out some nice boots soon. Um, Revit's been focused a little bit more on the sneaker market yeah, of late. Yeah, yeah. And they do some really nice ones, recommend mm -hmm. the Arrows, mm -hmm. for instance. But their boots, like the old Rodeos, like these regions, they, they, I mean, our customers love them. Most of us have a pair of Revit boots in the office. And that's no, that's no coincidence. Yeah, they're really nice. These waterproof. Yeah. A bit too hot for riding in summer. Um, because of the waterproofing. Because of the, yeah, water, yeah, because yeah, of the exactly. waterproofing. Yeah, it gets a bit swampy. Yeah. Riding in summer though is the John Doe Neos. So what do you like about them? Comfortable, man. Mm -hmm. I, I can walk around in these all day. But but, and I've got similar vans. That's that's. They look like vans, right? They do. I've got similar vans. Um, these feel more protective. You can feel you're wearing motorcycle sneakers, but I can still walk around in them all day. They've got a zip on the side, so it's easy to yeah. get in. And they're breathable. There's, there's no, no waterproofing here. No, exactly, yeah. Um, and they're like breathable enough that when I pick up the speed a bit, you can feel, you can feel the breeze. It's really nice in summer, mm -hmm. these. Then the other end of the spectrum, and something not really sneakery, <laughs> um, Style Martin Matrixes. Matrix, yeah. yeah. I could, you know, that was the first thing it put me in, in mind was the, I think. I know, man. I took both. I took those? both pills <laughs> when I bought those. But they're Properly. so so comfortable. Maybe not to walk around in all day because you're wearing yeah. a, a, a quite rigid, tall motorcycle yeah. boot. Um, but when I'm on longer journeys, yeah. doing a lot of motorways, uh -huh. or when it's really cold, these mm -hmm. are the ones I go for. They come with this. Well, bash, bash plates. When people pee you off at the lights or cut you up, I know you can kick, kick, a, kick a hole in the door. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looked like um, it would open it like a can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are optional, by the way. You have to screw these in yourself. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they come in the box. Um, okay. So you don't. Need, but I saw those I things in the box. Them. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how can you not? It's a bit of Mad Max there. Um, no, love these. They don't cool. come cheap, but they've served me for two or three winters now of daily riding. Um, yeah, they need a clean. I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> then on to backpacks, I think is yeah. the last thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Show us the thing I made you bring in today and then made you not yeah, use. Yeah, yeah. Tim was like, bring a big backpack, I need you to carry stuff. I carried <laughs> yeah. nothing. Um, it's because I had rock straps. So and I, I brought the Knox Studio. This is the very first version of the Knox Studio. They still yeah, do Yeah, it does this. look a bit different to me because I've yeah, got yeah. a studio. I mean, this thing has been through the ringer. Mm -hmm. Like, this has been run over by a Land Rover <laughs> at one point, which is why... Not attached to you, I hope. <laughs> no, 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 it was put to the side, which is why I had to do a, oh, right. yeah. a bit of a ghetto fix and not all of the clasps are whole, yeah. some of them fell off, but it's, it's still functional yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. still completely waterproof. The only thing they improved upon mm. over this version, uh, I think, are the pockets. Yeah. These are so flat and close to the main body of the yeah. bag that you don't, they're, no. they're not easy access when the bag's full. Mm -hmm. But I just throw, throw stuff in the, the main compartment and I'm happy with that. Mm. And you can fit some Tic Tacs inside there as well. Exactly, so. exactly. <laughs> and then, probably the one I use most and yeah. the one that most of us have, Andy showed this as well, I know, um, the Velomaki Speedway roll top backpack. Talking about being put through the ringer, this thing, <laughs> Um, I think you showed this one in your I did, review I explained, that you did but you can explain recently. it better. Yeah, so this thing, not only has it never been washed, which is very apparent, again, <laughs> when I look at it, um, it's, it's been, my now wife crashed in this a few years ago, well, while she was wearing this. Should say she's fine, right? She's all right, yeah, yeah, she's all right. It takes, takes more than that. <laughs> she slid on her back. Yeah. Wearing this, and mm. I can't even find. Oh, here's, there's a small scuff. There's a yeah. small scuff. You were like, that's it. you were like, take it to the studio. You can use it. And I was like, okay, I'll show the scuff. And I really had to go yeah. macro. I was yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. won't even really pick it up. I mean, this thing is beefy, very well built. It's not the biggest of backpacks, but it's big enough for me to take my yeah. my, my my lunch and my neck tubes and <laughs> whatever I take with me on a, as a daily essential. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you get the coolest closure of them all. The magnetic, come on. Yeah, it's cool. That makes me look, that makes me feel like makes Superman. Look like every, Iron, Iron Man, sorry, Iron every Man. morning. Yeah, I mean, again, this is one of those things, like, very much like the Bellstaff um, Trial Master, yeah. where I was looking at it for so long, I was like, oh man, that's a lot of money for a backpack yeah. or a jacket. Or, yeah. or For me, I don't regret it if I use it as much as I think I would. It's, no. the, it's the justify against the price, yeah. really. If it lasts you longer because it's, it's more expensive. I mean, we sound like a broken record because I know you and Andy was saying the same thing. Yeah, and we said it today in the same thing in the office. It's, there is no right answer. It's worth whatever you're willing to pay for it. Yeah, if it's exactly. more than that, then you wouldn't buy it. But no. it's obviously not too expensive for you. But no, we could argue about that for a long time. And I'm sure people have their own uh, suggestions and comments on that, but you know. Well, exactly. Any alternatives, anything you can recommend, um, mm -hmm. anything you'd well, like to see Well, you don't really need us. that much more stuff, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, no, no, I could do with There's a few a bit more. There's a bit of space over there. A few more helmets. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my kit. That's everything. I've just realized we didn't address the elephant in the room at the very start, which is that we- um, Yeah, you've got style, mate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, thank we you. Rocked up, we rocked up in the office this morning. Looking Wearing like this. exactly the same thing. No yeah. communication or anything. No. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you aren't already. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned, as always, to Urban Rider. Can I say that? Oh, yeah, go on. I wanna, I wanna do, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Like and subscribe. And click that bell. <laughs> Smooth. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.